Euzubillahimineşşefanirracim ve bismillahirrahmanirrahim. La yettekhibil mu'minunel kafirine evliya'a min dunil mu'minin. Ve men yef'al zâlike feleyse minallahi fî şey'in illa en tettekû minhum tuqâ. Ve yuhadzirukum allahu nefse. Ve ilallahil masir. Assalamu alaikum ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuh. Living with the glorious Quran. This is verse number 28 of Surat Al-Imran that the believers would not take other than them other than their own in preference to the believers would not take the repudiators of faith other than them in preference to the believers whoever done so has no connection with allah whatsoever allah biddeth you that ye beware of him to allah is the journeying verse number 28 what we have not said yesterday about power before we go on explaining today's verse is that the next verse that we did not mention yesterday which we took last year verse number 27 we only explained verse number 26 verse number 27 explains the alternation of night and day as if to emphasize the fact that power alternates Power does not stay in one place or with one person. It alternates. That is why when Allah mentioned power in verse number 26, it mentions the alternation of night and day and the movement of the sun going into the day, going into the night and the night going into the day to show that there is alternation, the vicissitudes of time. Today is your turn. Tomorrow is someone else's. You cannot perpetually be on power or in control. The believers are not to take the repudiators of faith as allies instead of believers or in preference to believers. Verse number 28 of Ali Imran. It is said that Abad Tabna Samit one of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, came to him. Ubad ibn Samit was a very pious person. He attended the expedition of Badr. Now, before the expedition of uh, Ahzab, he came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I have 500 allies of the Yahud that we can take to this expedition and show off to the enemy because before the migration of the prophet وسلم, to medina the the ansar and the yahud were allies strong allies strong bond between them so he thought about Ubad, ibn samit that since they had this bond and they have this relationship at the time of need they should be able to take the yahud to support the muslims so the verse was revealed that muslims should take their precaution in expeditions like the one that they were about to embark upon it is not right for them to take as allies other than their own. So that suggestion by Ubad ibn Samit was not accepted. It was rated to be not the right cause of action for Muslims to take. Because in another verse, the Quran says, يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا بطانة من دونكم لا يألونكم خبالا ودوا ما عنتم قد بدت البغضاء من أفواههم وما تخفي صدورهم أكبر O oh, you who believe do not take as intimates others other than your own who love to ruin you their aim is to hamper you 
Hatred is revealed by the utterance of their mouths, but that which their breasts conceal is greater. This verse supports verse number 28 of Ali Imran that we are currently discussing. Whoever does that has no connection with Allah. Whoever takes his allies, others than the believers, has no connection with Allah. Allah will not love or guide them. So that is not allowed. Now, relationship with the repudiators of faith or kuffar cannot exceed three stages. One, where the enmity is very clear, is pronounced, hidden in plain sight, they say. Everybody is aware of it. The aim to blight the religion of Allah and his message is apparent. In such circumstances, it is duty bound on the Muslims to by any means necessary forestall this dangerous encroachment to the teachings of their religion. Number two, where there is peace or treaty, ceasefire, whatever, and peaceful coexistence is established between the two parties, then the Muslims have to do their part by dealing fairly, justly, and with all commitment to the terms, letter and spirit of the treaty. Everyone has equal right and that must be maintained. No tricks, no deception, except plainness and truthfulness. Number three is a situation where a Muslim finds himself in, in a place where there are no Muslims. He is a minority in a place that any person that professes his religion, the life of such a person is in peril. So that person is to tread carefully and that is the meaning of the, of the latter part of the verse. Illa anta taqo minhum tuqa, except where you protect yourselves. That is, you tread carefully and you protect yourself. And that is the issue of the uh, taqiyya. When we meet tomorrow, inshallah, we shall explain what is illa an tataqo minhum tuqa that except where you are to guard and protect yourselves from them. And that is the issue of uh, taqiyya. And taqiyya is to present a facade of conformity to what is the norm in that particular place, even though you detest it. That will be explained fully, inshallah, when we meet tomorrow. Uh, living with the glorious Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.